Here are seven easy tips to help you remember the muscles of the anterior and lateral compartments of the lower leg. Now let's start with the anterior compartment first. The classic way to remember these muscles is the thing of the phrase Tom, Dick, and Harry, which stands for the tibialis anterior, which is right up against the tibia, the extensor digitorum longus, which is on the lateral side of this compartment, and then the extensor hallucis longus, which is hidden behind the other two. To remember this, you can think of the phrase, Harry is hiding, or think of little Harry Potter hidden away underneath the stairs to remember that the extensor hallucis longus is hidden behind the other two big dorsiflexors. Now there is a fourth muscle in the anterior compartment, but let's talk about the fibularis muscles first. The fibularis longus and the fibularis brevis are the two muscles that make up the lateral compartment of the lower leg. But of course, there is also a fibularis tertius muscle that's actually part of the anterior compartment. So to remember this, I think of the fibularis tertius as the fibularis traitorous, because again, it's kind of jump ship, it's crossed the border, it's over in the anterior compartment, while the other fibularis muscles, the big ones, are in the lateral compartment. The fibularis tertius also originates directly in line with the extensor digitorum longus, so some people think it's just the second head or another part of the extensor digitorum longus. As for actions, while the fibularis muscles can do a few different things, the main job they have, the main responsibility, is ankle eversion. And you can remember this by thinking fibbing is evil to remember that the fibularis muscles are responsible for eversion. Now we can look at the insertions on the dorsal side of the foot. So all the muscles we talked about so far originate off the leg and then come down and insert on the foot. And we have a little bit of a pattern here. So we have two insertions, then we have two, 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 one. And then on the medial side, we have two more that are also related to the anterior compartment. So let's start with talking about the fibularis brevis. So if you trace the lateral edge of your foot, you'll come to this little indent. And this little point right here is where the fibularis brevis will insert. Now the way to remember that is kind of unfortunate because what can happen, and this area is known for and prone for, is that if you roll your ankle too hard, what can happen is the fibularis brevis will pull and it'll pull this tip right off. So instead of fibularis brevis, I think about fibularis brachis because this area is so prone to breaking and that reminds me of the insertion point. Now the fibularis tertius, it comes down and inserts right here on the dorsal side of the fifth metatarsal. Then we have the fibularis longus. So it comes down here and if you see this cuboid bone, you'll see this little groove right here. So what happens is the fibularis longus comes down and basically takes the subway to get where it's going. So it goes through this canal, it comes all the way over and inserts on the medial cuneiform and then the base of the first metatarsal. Now the medial cuneiform is very important to remember because it's basically like the grand central station of the foot. So if any muscle comes in this little area right here, it also attaches to the medial cuneiform. So this is where the fibularis longus attaches. Then we have the tibialis anterior runs down and inserts here on the medial cuneiform and the base of the first metatarsal as well. And then we have the tibialis posterior that we'll talk about soon. But getting back to the dorsal surface, then we have the extensor digitorum longus. So it runs down with four tendons. These toes got a little wacky, but let's see. What happens is the extensor digitorum longus comes down with four tendons and they insert on each of these smaller digits on the middle and distal phalanx. So we have two, two insertions, two insertions, two insertions. And of course the extensor digitorum, it extends the digits, at least the little, the four little ones. The extensor hallucis longus comes down and the hallucis, the big toe gets its own muscle and own one insertion point. So it inserts right here on the distal phalanx of the first digit. Then as we mentioned, the tibialis anterior comes down and inserts right here on the medial cuneiform and the base of the first metatarsal. For the innervation, what happens is the common fibular nerve comes down off the sciatic nerve and then wraps around the neck of the fibula before splitting into two. If you think of it like a necktie, it can help remind you that this nerve goes around the neck of the fibula, just like a tie, and then splits into two parts. The superficial fibular nerve and the deep fibular nerve. So if you think of a tie hanging off the neck of the fibula like this, you can see the superficial part of the tie, aka the superficial fibular nerve, innervates the lateral compartment, while the deep fibular nerve, the deeper half of the tie, moves down and innervates the anterior compartment. 
So hopefully a few of those tips helped you out. As always, thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.